Good morning, everybody. Josh Giselle, Breakthrough Real Estate and Property Management. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be talking about gratefulness and the people that have made an impact in our lives that are unfortunately no longer with us. If only great people could live forever, wouldn't that be just amazing? But part of getting older, part of aging, part of living is passing away, dying. And the people that have made an impact in our life, we miss regularly. But the way I look at it is I'm so grateful that I can look back and miss them and appreciate the amazing people they were are and carry on their legacy for the generations to come. That's my goal with this episode today is to call out the three people who are no longer here that I wish and someday I'm going to see them again in heaven and I'm going to thank them again. The first one is my grandpa Izel. Grandpa Izel helped me catch my first fish taught me to taught me to hunt shoot uh, helped teach me to drive and I it's hard to describe you know certain smells remind you of certain people getting up early drinking coffee making egg, making breakfast flannel shirts <laughs> they remind me of my grandpa Jones uh, my grandpa Jones just just a wonderful 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 man worked very very hard provided for his family was such a simple, good person. He worked in the mines. He loved music. Um, he loved Jesus. Safe to say his last like 30, 40 years of his life, he really just lived for fishing, gardening, and his family. Next is my grandpa, Ezel. He's he's my mentor. He He's my guardian angel. He's the guy that always from the moment, I from the very moment I can remember, he was the guy, if I needed anything, I would call. Picking up the phone, you know, uh, hello there, grandson. Hello there, grandfather. You know, uh, <laughs> um, the most understanding, patient, good man. It wasn't until their kids had grown up that they actually had matured themselves to, to become the grandparents that they could be, be to make almost make up for the lack of being the parents that they needed to be. The baby boomer generation. You know, a lot, a lot of your parents, they drank, they smoked. Um, there were, there was a lot of different dynamics going on, which w were interesting. And as a lot of those people got older, they stopped drinking, they stopped smoking, priorities shifted. They really went out of their way to be the grandparents. And as a kind of byproduct, it helped them develop relationships with their kids too, you know? And so my grandpa Jones, Every Friday, we'd go clean the office. We had J&J &J Enterprises. That was our business. I mean, I've told you this story before. I, I can go on forever about my grandpa Ezel. My Aunt Barb. My Aunt Barb was my mom's youngest sister. Um, she passed away not so long ago of, uh, of cancer. When we lived in California, my Aunt Barb lived in Arizona. And every time I'd come to Arizona, I'd have to stay a day or two with Aunt Barb. Um, we'd always go to like Chuck E. Cheese. Um, you know, she's one of those adults that as an adult, all she does is get Happy Meals, you know, for the for the toys. <laughs> and um, she ended up working in some of the coolest jobs possible. She worked with like the FBI. She she was one of the funniest people. I, I learned to burp the national anthem for her. <laughs> and I mean, these are the memories you can't take away. You know, that cool aunt, you know, everyone needs one. Who was the family member? that you looked, that was that person for you. You know, I was fortunate enough to have three. I mean, I classify these three people truly I, as my guardian angels. They they protect me, they're there for me today when I'm struggling and I need to talk, you know, just in my car and you might see me talking to myself. I'm not talking to myself, I'm probably talking to my grandparents, uh, my Aunt Barb, because they're still here, you know what I mean? And that's something that you can, there is no value for. So who is that person for you? Please share below. I'd love to hear more about these people for you. We need to share these great stories of great people today. There's so much craziness going on in this world and we need to ground ourselves with the fact that there are normal, wonderful people. 
Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.